Welcome back everyone to Soren Review. Today we're going to be reviewing Austin Dillon's 164 Bass Pro Shops 2020 uh, Chevrolet Camaro. Now before we get started I would like to apologize for the last two videos and having awful uh, voice or audio quality. Uh, I think I have fixed the solution for both of them. Um, but before, and then also, uh, I would like to show you the, the upcoming diecast reviews, so you know what's coming up. We have this Austin Dillon Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. We have Daniel Hemmerich's Darlington Throwback. Matt Crafton's Mold Armor Chevro or Ford F-150. And Johnny Sauter's Ford F-150. So, before we get started, let's look at the packaging. It's your standard 2020 box packaging on the side here. We got all the cards, all the all the copyright stuff. Let's get it unboxed, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have it unboxed. First, let's look at the sticker it comes with. A Bass Pro Shop sticker or logo on the sticker along with the number three and Austin Owens name. Never used any of these stickers before. Don't intend to. You know, they're collectibles. And then, let's get to the actual car here. Now, this car is really nice. It's easily one of the best Austin Dillon paint schemes. So much that I even made... I love the 187 scale. I don't love the detail, but I love the, the um, that they're smaller. So I even made a custom. With the 187. I have plenty of customs. If you if you want to see an updated 187 collection, I have a ton of customs. Um, I, I I love doing it. Here's for example, Speedy Cash number 38. I just made it one for the. Um, well, it's not here, but I just made a this Eric Jones one. That one wasn't one of my better ones, but I've collected almost every 187 there is. So if you want to see more 187s, I'd love to do stop motion, though I don't really have the tracks. But let's get to the actual review here. On the front, if you remember my 124 diecast review, it was very similar to this because this is the paint scheme you one Texas in. So on the front here, if my camera would focus. Oh, it did for a second. Not sure why it's not wanting to focus. There we go. So on the front here, we have ba uh, the number three uh, with a gray and orange and then black design, so like stripes. On the hood here, we have Tracker Off-Road and Bass Pro Shops. On the side, this is probably the closest we're going to get to a Dale Earnhardt Sr. type uh, paint scheme. Where we have gray, and instead of red, we have like an orange. The three, though, does it goes go down around the three. We have Tracker Off-Road. Dow, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little rig up logo, American Ethanol, a Cup Series logo, Real Tree, Simba Court, and some on the B post. Or let me do the roof. On the roof here, we have the number th orange number three, along with BassPro.com and Easy Go. On the back here, we have Tracker Off Roads. The number three, Camaro, an orange and gray stripe, mainly black though. On the other side, it's the same design as we just saw. On the underside, the detail, of course, wish these were painted, but we, when was the last time we got a painted bottom of the car? It's been a while. So overall, very nice paint scheme. I think it's a very solid paint scheme. So if you want to see... More diecast reviews. I'm going to have one up probably next Friday. So if you want to watch that, we're going to be reviewing Daniel Hemrick's number 8, the Darlington Throwback. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Remember, if you want cars like these, right, you can use code SORIN72 to get free shipping off all orders, $20 or more. 
not only that, but if you want to follow me on Twitter too, I retweet, I enter a lot of giveaways, so if you want to enter giveaways, they're not sponsored by me, sponsored by some great guys on Twitter, you'll, you'll see if you follow me, um, so thank you so much for watching everyone, make sure to like and subscribe, thank you, and goodbye.